What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. Welcome back. Man, you guys either like me or somebody big shared my channel because uh, I had some crazy traffic on my channel last week. Like my subscriber count has more than doubled. My views have like been through the roof. Um, if, if it was somebody who did this or shared the video or something on my channel, Thank you, I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm really trying to grow the channel. All the new subscribers, all the new views. Man, thank you so much, guys. I really, really appreciate it. Um, you know, I'm not in this for the money. I'm not gonna try to put in some crap videos for you guys and, and you know, a, a thousand commercials in my videos and stuff so I can try to make money as, as much as possible. That's not the case. I'm doing this because I love cars, trucks, diesel, gas, turbo supercharged naturally aspirated whatever it may be but you know cars are such a universal language it doesn't matter your background doesn't matter your race doesn't matter your income cars are universal you know i have an appreciation for so many so many cars if it's a daily driver keep it clean and that's that's awesome you rock that daily driver if it's a six-figure car hey that's awesome too so i really appreciate all the love and support guys all the comments all the new subscribers all the likes everything thank you so much guys this is this is like I'm, I'm blown away i'm speechless there's been so much activity so much uh you know awesome comments people chiming in from where they're from the vehicles they're working on all that stuff and that's exactly why i'm doing this stuff man just to reach out to you guys and and you know just you know see what you guys are working on see what you guys are uh into and just having fun that's what this is all about just having some fun meeting new people and and having a good time so Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. I really sincerely appreciate all the activity, all the love, all the support, all the new subscribers, all of you sharing the videos, sharing the channel. Please, please keep it up, guys. I really appreciate it. Again, I'm trying to just, uh, you know, just have some fun with this and, and make this something that everyone enjoys, including myself. So thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Just to show you what I'm talking about here. So... I got, whoop. all right, so this video, this is when I, when I posted, when I got the, the convertible, uh, so it's got the unicorn, so last week when I left, I don't know how well you guys can see this, but the view count was at like 1,800 views, and right now it's at 29,653 views, so, and it's been pretty steady since then, like today, I, between yesterday and today, I've had uh, at least 500 views. But it's just been kind of steady, so I'm I'm pretty certain by tomorrow I'll hit thirty thousand views just on this video, and that's amazing. That's amazing. You know, I was excited about this. I really want to share this with all of you guys about this car, and it, it's been a lot of people checking this out. So thank you so much, guys. Really, really appreciate it. Um, you know, and and not only not only is the subscri bleh, subscriber count isn't just up it's the views it's the likes it's the comments and on youtube all this stuff matters because it's really what helps spread you know your channel and and post it in new places and put it in the recommended or suggested videos and stuff so that's what really helps and that's why i ask you know for the thumbs up for the comments and all the subscribers and stuff because youtube tracks all that activity and then you know if it's becoming popular then they'll share it with other people so i say all that to say this definitely going to keep some more videos coming for you guys and with, with each video, they're going to get better. You know, I'm still new at this YouTube thing. I haven't been doing this for years. This has literally been less than six months I've been doing this. So bear with me on uh, any kind of editing issues or especially the music. I know a lot of people like hate the music. Trust me, I hate it too. But with YouTube, there's super strict copyright laws with music that you use. So, um, you know, any popular music... I can't use without getting permission. You gotta jump through so many hoops and probably pay a lot of money to get that stuff. So we're just left to work with free music. Those that are using pop music or, or you know uh, current popular music, they just haven't been caught yet. So that's the that's why they're doing it now. But uh, but yeah, thank you guys. There's gonna be so much awesome stuff coming up. Um, I've been thinking about something on the Impala, on the Blue Impala. Uh, the the convertible is a unicorn you know it's rare it's it's an ss it's it's a 63 ss convertible i mean it's you can't it's it, it's a unicorn but i like rare stuff i like uh 
you know, like high trim level vehicles and, and or rare produced, you know, low, produ- low production vehicles or, uh, you know, some vehicles that were just not the run of the mill vehicle. So I got to thinking with this blue Impala, because I'm kind of on the fence about holding on to it or selling it, like not sure which way to go. But over the past, I'd say 48 hours, I decided I'm definitely going to hold on to it. Um, what I want to do with that one, make it a cruiser. I mean, it's a cruiser now, but what I want to do with that one is something that not a lot of people even know about. Um, in 63, in 1963, Chevy had an option or trim level for the Impala called the Z11. If you're familiar with Corvettes, you got ZR1. If you're familiar with the Camaros, you got the ZL1. And there's all these different, you know, designations of these trim packages and performance packages and stuff. Long story short, that car had a stroked out 409, uh, which was cubic inch displacement came out to 427. So it got me thinking, LS engines are pretty available. 427s are pretty available. Why not make a 427 Z11, you know, reproduction, late model resto. Put some nice wheels on it. Um, Probably nothing bigger than 18s. I I don't know, I'm I'm gonna test that out still, but but Z11 package is was going down on the blue hardtop. So the next video, I'll go more into detail on that specifically for that car so I can break it down for you guys and you get an idea of the blueprint, of the build, of everything that's going to be required. And, you know, on, on paper, it looks like a lot, but it really isn't. If you're familiar with the LS world and the LS parts and the workings of the LS, they're pretty straightforward. I mean, they're, they've been around now long enough to where you can drop these things in, in a lawnmower or a power wheel so it's 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 good it's good so that'll be something i can do at home build the engine up for you guys um unless i can find like a super sweet deal on the 427 but i'm thinking at this point i might have to purchase a like a wrecked uh c6 z06 corvette so that might be what happens to the two from a cost standpoint to keep this cost pretty reasonable is buying a wrecked c6 uh z06 corvette so stay tuned for that guys that's what's coming up um i'm in the garage right now Uh, as far as like immediate stuff coming up don't forget i got this six liter uh engine with the 4080 trans that's uh the four two wheel drive transmission and then the engine back there that's for the malibu but we're coming up on summer kind of quick um malibu's wrapping up and uh i'll be getting that back soon so that engine may get installed after summertime because I need that car ready to cruise as soon as I get back. Well, I got to do the dash. I'm going to do that Tesla style dash conversion on the Malibu. But after that, it's got to be ready for the road, like immediately after that. Um, so that crate engine there, um, the small block crate engine, that's going to be after summertime, probably wintertime, getting that installed. This engine I was going to do in the uh, the blue Impala. <clears throat> but we're going to go with the 427 route. So the engine that's in there now is actually another crate motor that's uh, built up pretty nice. It's an Edel- with an Edel- Edelbrock package on it. So this engine actually might just uh, go up for sale. I don't know what's going to happen here, but um, worst case scenario, I'll rebuild this and make like a, a modern day 409. Uh, I might not be able to hit 409 cubic inches exactly, but I can, de- I can definitely hit 408 easily with a uh, minor 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 work work on this so worst case scenario 408 you know kind of fudge the numbers a little bit for a 409 ls engine for the uh convertible super sport since it was a, a 409 four-speed car so uh so that's a possibility with that engine and then um i gotta get all this stuff cleared out i got uh uh, what's under the wagon? Oh, the factory wheels for the Mustang under the wagon. The first four. Then the four under that are some 18-inch chrome and gold uh, wire wheels. So if you guys are interested in that, those will be going up for sale super, super soon at a really stupid low price. Um, I need to clear a lot of stuff out of here. I got some stuff in storage still. But um, I got to make room for the Malibu because the Malibu will be going in this area next to the uh, next to the excursion. So, so yeah, that's what's going down. Um, stay tuned, guys. Again, thank you so much, guys, for all the new subscribers, all the support, all the love. Man, I really appreciate it. You guys, I'm blown away. I'm blown away. You know, I'm like, wow, man, they either really like me or 
somebody shared my channel or YouTube liked something about me. I don't know, man. But either way, it's just going to get better from here, guys. I appreciate all the love and support. If you look at the other videos, the most recent videos, really from the first video to the most recent one, you know, I definitely comment, comment back to all you guys. Um, and, and if you have any questions, you know, I answer whatever I can to the best of my, not best of my knowledge. But, uh, but yeah, thank you guys. You know, I'm, I'm really, really, really focused on getting some awesome content coming up for you guys, some awesome builds and really just some fun you know with me my family you guys got some stuff lined up for uh, jersey coming up with 703 cruising what's up man you pumping those videos out man you're killing it i see you man i see you the truck looks awesome can't wait to meet you and your uh your team out there man this is going to be an awesome summer going to shut it down going to get the malibu out there lock it up make it twerk out there in jersey and uh have some fun so <laughs> that's the plan with the with the malibu in jersey right now and then, like I said in the last video, try to uh, I'm gonna try to hit up Times Square. I just I I want to cruise a low rider in Times Square so bad. So after Jersey, that'll be the next stop. I think uh, 703 cruising is about I think he said he's like five hours away from Times Square, four hours, five hours, something something like that. So that's the plan there. Um, but yeah, guys, just have some fun. Hit these car shows up. Uh, all of you guys out in Detroit, Woodward Dream Cruise, you know I'm going to be there. I've been talking about that in almost every video. So it's going down with the Malibu. I'll be bringing the uh, excursion out there to haul the Malibu and the Blue Impala probably. So um, stay tuned for that, guys. It's going to be an awesome show. I got so many plans for that show. It's going to be ridiculous. If you guys aren't aware, long story short, Woodward Dream Cruise is one of the most amazing cruises, car cruise that you could do. It's free. It's free to watch. It's free to, to participate in. You literally just drive your car into the event. And uh, it's kind of set up like a figure eight almost. But it's like miles, miles, and miles of this of this huge figure eight in Pontiac, Michigan. Um, started off as just like a like a small thing where it's just, you know, people cruising to where you got now Ford and GM and Chrysler and all the big dogs like uh, sponsoring certain parts of it and bringing in their vehicles i saw the new ford gt out there saw some demons hellcats all kind of crazy stuff out there so uh old stuff new stuff um all these cars are out there custom stuff people stuff people built at home so many crazy vehicles out there so you got to check it out guys it's an amazing show um i want to say it's august 17th so uh if you're trying to make a trip out of it and stay there for a couple of days, I highly recommend that because that Saturday is gonna be insane. Starts off kinda cool, traffic flow is, is good, but once everyone gets out on the road, man, it's just just a slow creep, slow cruise, but there's burnouts galore. So and that's another reason that motivated the 427 or the Z Z eleven um package or or build for the blue impala. Um, you know, I want something that's can cruise, something that's got a nice little bark to it and something that can light them up like at any time so 427s are known to do that pretty well and, and even the six liters and all that stuff but if you're gonna do an ls why, why not just go all out and just do something pretty pretty unique so with the history of that car uh the z11 package on the 63 impala there were literally like i haven't heard an official number but 60 i'm sorry 50 to 57 only of those cars made with that 427 option the z11 package at most there are 57 of them made if you look around online people say there's about 50 of them made all together and there's like only seven of them actually left that was like legitimately reported functional or or you know known locations of them left out of out of all that were produced so it's the rarest the rarest impala that you can get um i'm sure the price tag is astronomical so i can't afford that but i can do a clone or a tribute model that's what i'm gonna do so build it how i want it nice 427 nice burnouts nice choppy cam why not let's do it so stay tuned guys that's what's coming up it's gonna be fun excursion is gonna be coming up shortly after the impalas are uh, started and then um we're gonna do that front end swap with the 20, 2015 super duty front end so Stay tuned, and uh, thanks again, guys. You guys are amazing. I'm, I'm loving all this love, man. You guys are, are you're killing it. You're killing it, man. Keep it going. Keep sharing. Keep liking. Keep subscribing. It's only going to get better from here, and that's because of you guys. So thank you. Stay tuned, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. All righty. Bye-bye.